Come in. All ready for bed? Yes, yes sir. Let's see. What shall I have you do for me tonight? Ursula, can you count to ten for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's good. And now, what shall we do with the schoolboy? How about counting backwards by sevens from 100? 100, 93, 86, 79, 72, 66. No, Leon, I'm sorry, that's wrong. You work on it. We'll try it again tomorrow. Good night, children. Good night, sir. We have another case of the flu here, Doctor. Pin, it's very hard to hear a heartbeat when someone is talking. Sorry, Doctor, but I'll wager this boy has a temperature of at least 104. How much would you like to wager? How about a wool sweater? It gets cold sitting here naked all the time. It's a bet. Oh, I'm afraid you're mistaken. 103.2. Would you like to look at it? It's not necessary, Doctor. I trust you. Hmm. Well, Richie, Pin's right about one thing. It's the flu. I just want to do a little blood test. So you come with me. We'll go see Nurse Spaulding. Hi, Pid. Hi, Pin. I'm sorry you didn't win the bet. Maybe if you just ask Father for some clothes, he'd give some to you. If I wore clothes, then no one could see inside me, and I wouldn't be any good for teaching anymore. Well, couldn't you take them off when you had to? I couldn't do it myself, and it would be too much extra work for the doctor. Well, I could come by and do it for you. You have to go to school. Anyway, we shouldn't be having this conversation. You know the doctor doesn't like me talking to anyone when he's not here. You won't tell him. <clears throat> you go out to the waiting room now. Pin is tired. Bye, Pin. I'm afraid the boy has a few rows in his left lung. Are you concerned about pneumonia? It's crossed my mind. I'll order a chest x-ray. Leon! What is that? You're both reaching an age where changes will occur in your attitude towards the opposite sex. The reason is to prepare you to be mothers and fathers. If you didn't become mothers and fathers, there wouldn't be babies and the human race would disappear. Nature can't allow that. So she equips each of us with a biological need to join together and create new life. And that is why just as people get thirsty for water, they get thirsty for sex. Do you have any questions before I continue? No education like the real thing, eh, Pin? After all the time you took explaining sex to them, giving them a better start than I had, where does it get me? A Sunday in the office. Okay, Ursula, on the table.
aren't you going to observe, Leon? No, sir. Might be educational. And Leon, as far as your mother's concerned, your sister is simply having menstrual problems. There's no point in upsetting her. Are you frightened? Yes, sir. Good. You won't want to go through this again. Leon, go home. Now! Wait. Your mother is sitting outside in the car. I don't want her to see you leave. 